Welcome, guys. Um, we've been uh, learning some uh, lineups lately. Watching uh, the Griffith guy that plays on Haiku. Doing some of his uh, lineups on the shacks, and I've been learning some myself and talking a bunch about it on stream. And people wanted to see some lineups, so uh, I'm gonna show lineups for every window of the Fortunas here. Uh, only the top floor though, uh, from arena here into one, two, three, and four windows. I can help you uh, clear out the rats in Fortunas when you hunt drop in Picado. Um, I don't know how many more lineup videos I'm gonna make. I think most of them are gonna be strictly kept a secret and for competitive use. But maybe if there's something I think is worthy, I'll post it on YouTube, but I'll show you guys how to do this. So, this is gonna be for both the windows on the left Fortuna. Uh, all you have to do is basically just put yourself against this thing. And um, you're gonna use this window as reference for both of them. So, basically, if you follow the window frame up, it's gonna be this beam that you're gonna use for reference. And you're gonna have to aim uh, in the bottom of the beam and tiny bit left. And these nades are a lot better if you cook them. Because you kind of want them to explode as they enter the window. Because most likely the people you'll be trying to kill is going to be either hugging the left side or the right side of the window. Uh, they can also be done with a Molotov. So it's pretty much the same. Uh, so it's perfect if you knock somebody as well. Uh, when you're peeking them. And you just Molotov them for the flush. Um, yeah. The next one is as well going to be used um, with the window here. You go up the first beam, then you just count one, two, three, and you lower your nade till the trajectory gets blocked. Then you just up it. This one definitely needs to be cooked. Um, you could um, you could play around with this nade if you are not that good at cooking nades. You could throw this one a bit further left, so that it hits this piece of furniture. Um, that way it would... Probably... Be able to throw it uncooked. If it hits the furniture, it should explode... Around there, but it's kind of hard to do consistently. I've tried this myself, and... It's not that easy to do. Because when you try and aim for the furniture, sometimes you just hit the left side of the window. That one was pretty good, though. Um, the next one is going to be for the right for two now. You just come up against this beam. And, um, this is the best one. It's for the right window. Very easy. All you have to do is use the upper arc in the middle of my screen right now. Uh, you have the upper and the lower arc over the dot. Just put it up against, uh, these two beams, the far right beams. And this one you don't really have to cook either. I would cook it still, but this one's always gonna hit the furniture. Makes it explode right on the window. Which is like, why this is probably the best and the easiest one to do. But I would still probably just cook them so that they don't have time to run away. And for the next window, you, you're gonna use... Um, uh, these three beams, so there's some like grease or water here that's been running down. Like a long stripe here, and then there's two stripes. And you're just gonna aim at the beam that's uh, in the middle of them. That doesn't have any grease on it. And you aim, like, at the bottom of it again, and a little bit to the left. This one... Uh, I've been playing around with this one, and I think I'm aiming too low when I do it. Because sometimes it hits the bottom of the window frame and it bounces. So, maybe instead of doing it at the bottom here, you go up a tiny bit. Ah, that was good. Uh, and that's about it. You can do this with Molotovs and, uh, and nades and... I guess you could also smoke off the windows if you feel like it with this before you're gonna push. Uh, I have textures on medium, and whatever setting you have textures on, it's gonna make this look a little bit different. Uh, but I don't think it's gonna change anything, so... That's about it. 
Okay, guys.